The Pixastic JavaScript library allows us to introduce changes into images we use in our code. This library allows us to perform various actions on the image we work with. Going over the documentation, we can find the list of the actions we can perform. Using Pixastic is fairly simple. We just need to uh, place a script element that refers the Pixastic JavaScript library as well as a script element that refers the very specific JavaScript file for the very specific action we want to perform. If you take a look at the download page of Pixastic then you can find the possibility to download the core file as well as uh, those specific JavaScript files for the actions we want to perform flipping, changing the brightness of the image and so on. Now this code sample shows a nice image and when the mouse moves over that moves over that image the change pix function is invoked. Change pix function, as you can see, uh, includes code that invokes the process function on the Pixastic object. Passing over the image we want to change, the name of the action we want to perform, as well as a JSON obje object that configures the action we want to perform. In this case the action is glow so that's why I make sure that I place a script element that refers glow.js file, the very specific JavaScript file that includes the code for performing the glow action. Now when process function is invoked then the image we see on screen change and here in this case new pix local variable is assigned with uh, uh, the reference for the object that represents the new image that object if we want we can use it we can for example refer on mouse out property on in that object in order to assign it with a function we want to be invoked when the mouse goes out of the image area and when that happens uh, this function is invoked and the reference for the image itself is passed over to it and as you can see I invoke the function revert on the, pla on the Pixastic object in order to turn back the the image to its original state. Now if we take the mouse over the image as you can see there is a glowing effect. Now when I take the mouse out the image returns back to its original state.